Good day, everyone. Um, hope everyone is having a good day, and uh, and uh, very nice day. And uh, let's quickly, quickly dive it into what we have today. Um, today, I just want to quickly. We are currently looking at uh, Nigerians' economics. Um, Nigerian economics at this particular stage, we know, is at a critical junctions that needs an urgent revival that means the current government cannot do that so the server person that's going to take over from this current president mr buhari uh, is going to inherit a to be honest with you a decline or a dead economy uh, according to the uh, one of the informations we had from the economic experts uh, because the Nigerian government, uh, we know, uh, f uh, they will inherit uh, a several stiff challenges. That's the next president that's going to take over the country. And it is yet uh, unclear whether these uh, abandoned resources will, will translate into growth. Uh, we know the currently, currently has been rocketed uh, with high inflations. Uh, as a result of rising energy cost, uh, as a result of uh, um, uh, Russian invasions in Ukraine, and these invasions have have uh, uh, drastic or catastrophic effects across the, the globe. And so, Nigerians' country is not one of; uh, it's also one of those countries that has been affected uh, uh, because of. Uh, uh, demand from which that's uh, currently coming up from uh, Ukraine and also Nigerians also have a kind of uh, 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 a kind of an economics uh, relationship with Russia and uh, so because of that that's also have effect on Nigerian economics so we know currently that uh, Nigerian president Mr. Buhari uh, the complaints we know the economics under his regimes have declined and uh, the ethnic as well as the religious di di uh, divisions still undermine the national economy. Uh, so the next president has to address a lot of uh, challenges, he huge challenges. So, so we want a president that can think ahead, uh, think, uh, not just think, but making sure that at least every sector of the uh, the, anybody that is, they are going to bring on board, they are not going to bring a political uh, 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 individuals. They have to bring someone that is professional uh, in their field. They have to get things done, uh, coming on board and, and making sure that things are fixed. And the set of targets that each one of these uh, ministers has to be uh, given to. Not this current shambles. Uh, 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 administration that we have under this unproductive uh, president of Nigerians, uh, Mr. 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 Buhari. So we know that there's a lot of uncertainties and the Nigerians are going into an elections this month and uh, next month uh, to see who is going to be their next president. And they're going to bring a lot of challenges in terms of leadership. And uh, we also know that uh, President Mohammed Buhari uh, is going to co complete his second terms, which will be the last terms in his office. And uh, whosoever person that is going to su succeed him uh, will face a multiple crisis, uh, a contested uh, political system, uh, as well as a high inflation, a uh, high rate of uh, youth unemployment, uh, as well as uh, Pre prevailing uh, violence across the, the regions, even the uh, terrorism as well as henchmen, uh, has been allowed to perpetuate the, the cornerstones of the Nigerian uh, area. So this also has to be dealt with. So this is going to be one of the challenge in terms of security. Even food insecurity has been one of the issues as well, because if you look at the price of goods and services, have currently skyrocketed. So, given Nigerian economic and, and the regional influence and the booming populations, uh, uh, we, to the extent in which the next administration will be able to pave the ways to growth, 
Uh, that's what the new next president has to do. And they have to make sure that uh, security, life, and properties uh, are one of the top priorities as part of the constitutions. Uh, is bring back to, to, to standards. And also, stabilities will be uh, also have to be one of the first consequences uh, of all the West Africans. And uh, we also know that uh, in this current administration, um, zonings and federalism systems is not something that uh, is something they promise, but not something they are, are, are actually accomplish. Uh, we know Nigeria is, is, is a menix of nations with different uh, ec economics, uh, geopolitical, as well as ethnic, as well as religious uh, uh, characteristic or identities. So maintaining the unity in, in the state of short uh, diversity uh, will always have been a challenge. And if you remember, uh, since the time we returned to civil rules uh, back in 1999, uh, we know that powers uh, Turnover in Nigeria has taken according to the unwritten rules that we observe uh, by the country and the two main parties, uh, according to which the president and the vice president must be uh, alternative between the north and the south, and also between the six established uh, geopolitical region. And we know that the policy of zonings has been designed uh, from the inceptions that each uh, region, as well as the ethnic regions, has a fair access to power. And, uh, but if you look at this president, uh, Mohamed Buhari, who is from the state of Castina, in the northern part of Nigeria, uh, the policies have been more about accommodating the uh, ambitions of the political elite than about really, uh, regional development. So Buhari have definitely uh, destroyed that zoning formulas as well as the, uh, the characteristics of uh, what amount of federalism. So this is one of the things that Buaris have definitely failed. And the, the further characters or the further solutions that we, if you look back, that was adopted back in 1954, uh, was uh, interrupted uh, uh, because of the military rules that we currently have during that period of time. And however, despite the return to civil rules and the federal principles, uh, which we have been ins inscribed in the constitution of Nigerians and the uh, political systems, uh, often refers to a federal, uh, federal constitution, which means true federalism. Uh, the federal characters has not been definitely been reflected. Um, and if you look at, uh, because uh, that remain even more proper, uh, problematics and uh, we know that uh, the resources rich state uh, contains the way the wealth is redistributed while the poorer state uh, uh, depends on Abuja so there's a lot of obstacles when it comes to federalism and uh, we know that uh, the the basic assumption is that the federal financial autonomy of the federal states uh, by vis 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 the central government. So a lot of uh, uh, work has to be done when it comes to federalism because uh, uh, the, the, the federal characters is not actually reflecting. So Buhari has not actually succeeded when it comes to the federal uh, systems of how the, uh, that has been in stripes as the true federalism in Nigeria. So if you look at the, uh, uh, the, in terms of the economics, uh, as we uh, come back, we know that we have an excessive size of government and high maintenance uh, cost uh, and limited achievement because um, a lot of the huge cost Nigerians face uh, has been taken over by some of the Senate. Uh, majority of the, um, huge budgets that are supposed to be distributed uh, to better Nigerians, a lot of them have been under the central control. So that means some of these resources uh, has been used as a salary. Uh, if you look at a lot, if you look at how much um, some of the Senate are taking on, on a monthly basis and the security, a high amount of security cost that is causing to maintain some of this uh, Senate. 
uh, is humongous. So it's something that uh, the new, uh, the next president need to address. Uh, because I don't think a Senate should be having more than one security. How can you have a Senate that is having uh, about 20 securities guiding them? I mean, so that's, that's one of the areas that the new, the next government need to address. Uh, because how can you be paying that 70% of a lot of revenues that is going to the, a lot of the federal characters in terms of salaries, 70% are going into the salaries and 30% are devoted to capital expenditures. So you can see that there's a lot of things that is completely downward uh, when it comes to how uh, resources, as well as where resources have been fully distributed. And also, if you look at, uh, we also know that Nigerian economy also depends on oil. And currently, we are completely vulnerable uh, because of the um, the the the, country, the the world is less dependent on oil because electron everything a lot of the everything has to, has to be going electronically, and uh, we have seen vulnerable when it comes to frustration in domestic production, even the global prices as well, and um, even the fuel subsidies in 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 this year is expected to cost about nine point something billions. Uh, why the president uh, Mohammed Buhari uh, announced that this will be rolled back. Um, the decision was reversed amidst inflictions and rising rest of unrest. Subsidy, some people have said it, is a scam. Nigeria should not be, uh, Nigeria should not even, it's something that needs to be stopped and it should be stopped immediately uh, when the next president comes in. It shouldn't be something that has to be freezed. It is something that has to be cost. Because the money, the nine point something that cost us, we could have used that money uh, to, to help to, to deal with the health uh, to provide uh, some of the social in infrastructure that the countries need in terms of uh, uh, making sure there's enough hospitals, uh, making sure that teachers and uh, uh, education uh, teachers are paid and they should avoid any kind of a strike, and making sure that technologies are bringing to the economics uh, to help to develop the economy. That's nine point something shouldn't have been ruled by. So that mean that nine point something million has been taken over. Uh, by a whosoever person that is using that subsidy to scam the Nigerians. So this is one of the things Nigerians need to address. And uh, we all know that, um, and uh, we also believe that uh, um, it, adequate to create adequate uh, there's the, the economics, even the job creations that uh, uh, Mr. Buhari has promised has not even up to, to, up to standards as well. Uh, promised that uh, it will lift uh, 100 millions of Nigerians uh, uh, when it was when it's, it, 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 during during his tenures, and you can see now we have 190, 130 something millions of Nigerians is completely uh, 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 in into a, an abject poverty at this moment in times. So. And the economics is not currently going. Even so, they projected that GDP is as quietly improved. But that GDP has not definitely been uh, go and uh, go in. I mean, being fed by Nigerians in terms of uh, in terms of some basic uh, necessity that Nigerians definitely like uh, good water, uh, on, on, on uninterrupted uh, electricity supply. So that should have been also something that should have fed in. Uh, according to the GDP. And uh, we also know definitely the whole world face uh, pandemics uh, which affect the economics uh, for the past two years and the retreat in global trade as well as integrations. Uh, we know that's a harm the Nigerian economy. Uh, we know that the performance of Buhari administration are far, for, far from, from impressive. And we know in the last seven years, uh, characterized by a commands and controls approach to economics management uh, based on excessive uh, regulations. Uh, we know there's high levels of uh, spending that um, through borrowings, uh, importation subs substitutions, uh, subsidies, as well as welfare programs. Uh, these are the key indicators that uh, Buhari has largely failed. And also the internal and external debt uh, substantially increase. Uh, which, which is one of the things the new government need to look into. And the stock, uh, our debt stocks have risen more significantly to about 72 billions. 
an unemployment rate at grand grand have grappled to about 30 percent and making Nigeria one of the worst uh, performance in the world uh, while the unemployment rate is estimated to be uh, uh, about 22 percent so the next president will kill a very dear economics so uh, and pressing matter has to be addressed uh, especially to deal with uh, the humongous uh, debt uh, stock that we currently have uh, uh, a significant uh, amount of money that's been borrowed uh, from international uh, monetary funds as well as the uh, what we borrow from China, especially the reconstructions that we use. So this is one of the things Buhari has completely put the countries into. And uh, we also know Nigerians are also faced with a lot of multiples, uh, uh, multiples, face multiples uh, security challenge. Uh, so we have refunding Nigerian federalism and fixing these staggering economics appear to even more uh, doubting considering the security outlooks. Uh, we look and know that terrorist groups such as Boko, Boko Haram and Islamist take uh, West Africans, uh, which Buhari allowed them to prevail, has definitely impoverished uh, the northern east of Nigerians and they are expanding their operational reach uh, by a recent attack on uh, Koji uh, prison near Abuja. Uh, we know that has been one of the issues. And, and they know that this one is coming, but Buhari did not, uh, the security forces didn't do so much, and they still allow it to happen. Uh, we know in the central Nigerians, we know violence between farmers and herders uh, uh, over water and lands have escalated in recent years as well. And um, we also know that the ethno religious uh, divisions are uh, feeding off each other. Um, we know that. Uh, Violent bad banditry as well has become one of the threats to national security, as well as uh, some organized um, group, uh, uh, organized group, especially those groups that engage in, in cattle steals, uh, kidnapping, robberies, uh, murders, and rape. Uh, these have allowed to operate freely uh, during the Buhari administration. And also the emergencies of uh, separate from movements. Uh, definitely, this have also intensified in some rural areas, uh, uh, contesting the state that uh, deems insufficient and predatory. Um, uh, predat so we know Nigerian security force are under equipped uh, and they lack effective uh, leadership. And we also know that some of them have been accused of corruptions and women's abuses, making them even suited to address the even the challenges as well. So these administrations are completely fails when it comes to security challenges. And uh, we've, there's been a lot of um, uh, a, a circus of, circus of uh, poverty and, and violence. And these have definitely have negatively affected the Western regions. So, and uh, currently the population size is some of the things Nigerians also need to look into uh, because currently we had that uh, in the next 2050 Nigerians can increase their populations uh, by 400 if populations uh, controls and measures and the batteries is not uh, programs is not put in place especially uh, uh, just allowing people to have to have bags and the, the, when, the, when the economics is not sustainable uh, to be able to deal with those, some of those children that we are giving birth. So eventually, we're going to have uh, uh, a lot of children that have been born in poverty and a lot of them uneducated. And uh, that definitely can affect the, the, the future uh, development of, of the country. And this is predominantly a lot of these uh, figures, populations, increase in birth rate are a lot predominantly coming from the northern part of Nigerians where they don't have any any sense I will just put it in that way any sense to have a kind of a birth rate controls in that kind of a regions and they they need to address that and this is one of the areas that a new government need to, need, need to, need to address and we all know that uh, the, 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 the three predominant president uh, aspirants like Atiku Abubakar, which is the fair balance of, of PDP. Uh, uh, we know he was a vice president uh, between 1999 and 2007. 
And the, one of the things it does, it privatizes a lot of uh, telecommunications and the bankings. And predominantly, a lot of them are doing very well uh, in terms of its privatization. And um, it, it represents a departure from current economic policies. And the policies became economic agendas based on trade principles, uh, private sectors, uh, participations. Uh, the ends of public uh, monopolies over infrastructure. So you know, that can should be done into public and private uh, partnerships as well as the market uh, oriented approach. So these are the policies that Article uh, 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 introduced uh, when he was a vice president through the collaboration of his president, uh, Obasanjo. And Nigerians, in, 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 in terms of Bola, uh, Bola Amenchinabu, we know that uh, he was the governor of Lagos State in 1999 to 2007 and transitioned to civilian to uh, Mr. Buhari has been a key figure in Nigerian politics and they all call him the key makers. Uh, remember he is the one t um, that instigates and uh, the, uh, as well as allow uh, Buhari uh, to come to power through, through the influence he had in this in the southwest regions uh, and he has worked in a lot of private sectors as we had especially in the united states and in nigerians and he like to adopt a uh, different approach more techno technocratic approach to governors uh, maybe introducing more technologies in terms of task collections in terms of uh, movement of goods and services and uh, but uh, also in terms of a lot of things but where will it go from here? So what will be the next? Uh, uh, we know that uh, this is a mongrel situation that is currently facing the economics. But Nigerian economic situation we know is, is gloomy. Uh, well, we know that um, the economy is in a state of collapse due to high debt, inflations and poor productivities. Um, we know that Nigerian economic situation to the extremely uh, extremely in, in a dear need of recovery. And um, so the next president will definitely inherit economies that are less essentially or potentially collapse. So uh, we, as I said earlier, uh, public debt is, 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 is huge. Uh, it's over 44 trillions. A lot of people are poor, uh, we know. And, um, and the multidimensional poverty, which is the most important bit that needs to be addressed. Um, we have issues, as I indicated before, security uh, that affect the economy. Uh, price of goods and services have skyrocketed. Farmers cannot even go to their farms. Um, we know security issues and the price of goods are going up uncontrollable. So we also have issues in debt, uh, poverty, inflation, unemployment. Uh, currently, still got about 33%. And um, potentially we're having a negative uh, uh, economics. And uh, so the most important thing for the next president, as you said, that they have to deal with security issues. Uh, apart from dealing with issues, so making sure that uh, we also have a continuous uninterrupted light supply so that uh, it can allow all those small scale businesses uh, to strive, as well as making sure that uh, uh, youth are compulsory has to go to school. Uh, it has to be a kind of pro compulsory programs that no you should come out of the university or the, the secondary school or primary school until they reach the age of uh, 18. So that will enable a lot of youth to, to attend school and that will make it compulsory. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, weak economic thinking. Uh, that's what some other people said. Even a lot of our governments make a lot of mistakes. Uh, some of them tend to focus on GDP, uh, and they do not focus enough on poverty. Even on GDP growth, uh, we have not even done well. And uh, so you have also have to deal with populations and measure that GDP in, res in respect of populations. Um, they don't actually invest in education and skill. Even healthcare has been one of the areas that is dilapidating in Nigeria. So they have to begin debt restructuring. It's how to restructure the debt and spread it over. We know this is a very complex situation because there will be a lot of negotiations for, uh, to make sure that at least some of the uh, 
debt level that we have. The interest rate as well as the debt amount has to be for properly negotiated and that has to be done by uh, not someone that call him, they call themselves a politician, but has to call by them those who that are experts in how to, how to structure and uh, negotiate a debt uh, payment uh, because it's one of the areas that the new government has to do. And we also have to have a kind of need for tax reforms. Uh, must, and Nigerians must expand its present tax bracket, uh, show transparency with government spending, able to more Nigerians to pay taxes, yes, because uh, the way we collect taxes is extremely low. Uh, if you look at uh, a lot of millions of people that are supposed to be paid taxes, because government hasn't actually demonstrated how they are using their money for, especially to secure the areas. So people are adamant in order to pay taxes. So if the government have a kind of ways on how to collect taxes from a lot of these people that are still going to be paying taxes. So that definitely that can also increase revenues to the government uh, uh, treasury as well. Uh, currently, we had that about 7.8 million of Nigerians are not actually paying taxes. And if we can get that about 30 million into the tax bracket, uh, not even higher than that, because government is not, not delivering so much and people doesn't trust the government. So this is the area the government needs to do, even infrastructure funding as well. Uh, government should ever, according to what we have from an expert, that government should not ever borrow uh, to do public infrastructures. Uh, how can you be borrowing to do public infrastructures? So, and uh, that should be, should be done by uh, public par private partnerships. Uh, any public uh, uh, infrastructural program should have been carried out by those, those, those kind of a way. Uh, investment should not be there for borrowing. Uh, spending infrastructure does not generate enough. So we should be done by private sectors. Uh, even removing first subsidies I indicated earlier uh, should be one of the things the next government should do. Uh, there must, there sh because this, it doesn't have any economic advantages for Nigerians. And that half of those is spent is on fraud, as I, as I said it before. So government should make sure that at least uh, first subsidies completely removed in the next government. And the uh, government should now find a way to subsidize uh, those people that cannot afford uh, the four during the period of time. And also educate, uh, make sure education uh, is funded properly uh, and making sure the people, uh, better health care is also provided as well. This would definitely help Nigerians and um, help Nigerians and also provide a kind of uh, transport systems uh, network system across the all geopolitical states in the regions. So that East, East State, uh, apart from having a, a public uh, transport, they should have a kind of interlink trains uh, from one region to the other, uh, well maintained, properly, properly secured, and uh, properly uh, uh, electronically uh, secured. If, if the government can be doing that, you find that a lot of people will be willing to come to Nigerians to invest. So this is what we're currently going on in Nigerians. And we hope, hope that the next president that is coming up uh, is going to look at this uh, among us uh, problems that need to be fixed. Uh, they should be there, believe that they want to come and serve. And they are coming in with the right kind of team that will to uh, 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 and start uh, that will put things from the from the inceptions of their of of of, of doing handing over. They have to start uh, uh, putting things on grounds and start working uh, to achieve uh, what they actually want to achieve. So we we are still hoping for the best. So let's 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 hope that uh, these issues is addressed and is addressed in time. So this is what I just want to bring to you guys today um, in terms of what is currently going on in the country. So I hope you guys uh, have a great day and uh, I will look forward to bring you more information as I come across. So you take care for now. All the best. 